rumoured, he's been around, he's been training with them. But finally, a top heart official has disclosed to us that it is indeed true. That's very exciting, if you, if you know what I mean. I mean, I could see the percentage of fans, um, hard to vote home matches, fans would just troop out just to see Sule Ali Muntari. And who knows? Between now, he's up to it. Who knows? The new coach, uh, Chris Houghton, I'm hearing. Uh, and our coach, uh, Sana Mati. The, the, the German Affairs Commission and the White Paper, are they, are, is it still working? I don't, I don't think so. I, 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 If it's still working, then I don't think so you play the blaster. Because it was in there. That, hey. that, that, yes. Yeah, he should just write a letter <laughs> apologizing first. It told to me more black stars. I mean, I'm just asking a question. I just, You're right, though. Yeah, yeah. So he has to apologize first. I, I, I'm saying that if the German Affairs Commission and the White Paper okay, is you, still... You will not answer. <laughs> so I can't, I can't he has answer. to apologize first. <laughs> if that is what the White Paper says, definitely you have to go by that. Only if... Sule, you want apologize here. That is what well, I, I don't know. Ben. I have not seen any I've, I've there. Never, because um, the, 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 the commission outlined certain key players. Mm. Sile Ali Muntari, Michael, uh, no, uh, Kevin, Kevin, uh, Kevin. Kevin Boateng. Mm. These were some of the people that we had. They had to apologize before even playing for the national team. I don't know only if we use the white paper to work in Ghana. But Sule Ali Muntari, for me, I believe wherever he is, coming back to Accra as a folk, is going to light up the Ghana Premier League. If only he's got that explosive that we actually know of him about from 35 years, from 30 years, where we have the likes of Salim Adams also doing the same and copying the same of his lifestyle. I think it's even beyond that. I think it's a good... Is that him? No, that's Fatal. Oh, okay. With the, with, the, yeah. with the hats yeah, from the side. Yeah. Your players Fatal are funky, Mohammed. coach. <laughs> no, <laughs> So, I, I, no, on a more serious note, I think it's good for the Ghana Premier League if oh, yes, um, yes, ex-international yes, players... Yes, I mean, it's, it's, it's big. When we had a Samoa in the league, uh, you, you realise BBC was talking about the Ghana Premier League. So, if Sule is here, he definitely you know what... Unfortunately, what, what that, that, that wasn't... I don't know if, if, if I should use the word, whether it was not managed well or it, it didn't end well with well, a Samoa Giants well, as that, far as that, uh, Lagos City now. We're talking about... I, I just chip in... So Sule Mutali is a big player. I mean, he's been in the World Cup, he's played for AC Milan, he's played for Inter Milan. He's a huge figure when it comes to the when it comes to Ghana football. And if he's coming to play in our league, I'm sure I'm sure sponsors would love to come on board. And I'm sure supporters would love to troop to the stadium to go and watch Sule Mutali. Although Sule is not the Sule we knew five years ago, but whatever he has got in him, probably he's going to give us a little of it. And I'm sure Hasufu could benefit from Sule Mutai's, uh, I mean, coming on board.